Would I call the honourable member for Bendigo? Thank you, Deputy Speaker. And tonight I rise to share with the House a desperate plea for change from my community. Both parents of schools are calling for increased funding to help deal with the growing number of students with autism going through the main school, uh, mainstream schooling system. If I could just share with you a couple of local stories. A mother of a 12-year-old boy on the spectrum said that it's not, not enough is being done to cater for students with autism in our schools. She said that her family has been through hell and back fighting the education system to get the appropriate strategies in place so her son can cope with school. She doesn't blame the teachers but rather a lack of understanding about autism. She says that she knows her son can misbehave. But it's not, um, and she's not saying that he's not easy to deal with. But what he's going through as a young man is just heartbreaking and our system should be there to support him. Along the way, Michelle has been told her expectations for her son are too high. But she says, to me, this is ridiculous because I've met police officers and solicitors with autism. And if, we, if they can do it, it just proves that with the right education balance, with funding within our system, anything is possible for these children. And Michelle is right. Many schools in my electorate have spoken out about not only the challenges but the benefits associated with having children with special needs in mainstream schooling. Classroom aids, further special needs training for teachers and individual learning plans are just some of the areas that they say need extra funding to help students with autism in Bendigo. Most admit that a lack of government funding is putting a strain on their school and school budgets. And these schools are right. Camp Hill Primary School Assistant Principal Chris Baker said that whilst there were challenges, children with autism are also helping to foster a great understanding and accepting amongst the students. He said it can be really positive to have students, but he also said that we are lucky enough to have an autism coach funded by the education system. And that is the problem. Schools should not have to be lucky to get the resources that they need to support these students. So Joseph's primary school principal, Nick McTaggart, agrees that funding is creating problems. But he said his school is doing what they can to ensure that everybody's needs are met. Nick is right. Funding continues to be a challenge for these schools, and when I've been out meeting with their school councils, every school council that I've met with, every principal that I've met with has said that there is a growing funding crisis in their budget to help the students with autism in their school communities. I've heard stories of, of children, of students being locked up in principal's offices. I've heard stories of students being restrained because they've had a meltdown in the classroom. I've heard stories of students being sent home after two hours of schooling and students being left at home not able to access mainstream schooling because they simply cannot find a school that will accept their child who has autism. This may be considered the pointy end of a system that is struggling, but it's becoming an increasing issue coming in with parents speaking to me in my office. Families with older children on the spectrum are finding, it, um, finding that waiting lists are growing and that life is becoming increasingly hard for their children. Further, specific funding required for students on autism is tightening, meaning less students are benefiting. Quite often, if children are not diagnosed early enough, they miss out on a package. And then packages for older children are less and less. With five to ten um, students with autism in most public and Catholic schools in the Bendigo electorate, it reminds all of us why we need Gonski and why the election promises broken on budget night, the trashing of Gonski, has really hurt the schools in Bendigo. Students with disabilities were forgotten on budget night. The government has broken its promise to students with a disability to deliver the Gonski loading for 2015. The budget failed to outline any new funding for students with a disability. 
It is not fair that these students in Bendigo, that their families and schools go without. The community is fighting Order. back and I'll fight with them.